What it do, man? It's your boy Battle Truth coming to you live and direct from the Battle Truth headquarters. Let's get right off into this, man. It's a lot going down in battle rap, man. It seems like tension is thick in the air from all sides and directions, man. ARP released a bombshell on Debo and Piper Boy. Let's just get right to the Debo one. I'm going to do the Piper Boy one later. ARP addressed the Debo because Debo been taking shots at him, speaking against him and things like that. So y'all know ARP said, look, I'm back being a blogger now. And guess what? I come to say, I'm, I'm going to save this blogging game. What did I tell you? What, did, what? ARP, what did I tell you in that one blog? I said, it's not going to happen. You know why you're not going to be able to say, know why you're not going to be able to say, say battle rap blogging? Because you are targeted. You can't play the, uh, uh. You can't play the part of, oh, the politic game. If you're going to be blowing, you're going to have to get personal. Because they definitely uh, be personal against you. He had to find that out the hard way. Because he definitely just got the blasting back at both Piper Boy and Debo. I could, I ain't want to put them both in the same blog. I wanted to separate the blog so I can uh, uh, be more... Detailed and precise, discreet on what he said. So he come at Debo and he get the breaking thing down about Debo. He said, Debo, I talk to you and I don't mess with you. That's the clean burden. He said the other word. He said, I talk to you. I don't F with you. Uh, no, he said he don't talk to you. He said, I don't even talk to you. Because I don't F with you. He said, but I never said a single thing bad about Queen of the Ring. In fact, me and Babs, we got a kind of good relationship. When we talk on the phone, sometimes we talk on the phone for hours. But I don't say nothing bad about Queen of the Ring. So I don't understand why every opportunity you get, you want to try to disrespect the rare breed entertainment brand, what we stand for. He also goes on to say, but it's crazy because you you once you 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 be talking about doing business with us. You be wanting to get on board and do business with us and be wanting to do things behind closed doors with the rare breed brand, but then you get in public and you want to try to disrespect, knock us and shame us. But you be the same one trying to actually do business with us behind closed doors. He also goes on and said, um, you wanted to try to knock me talking about my $60,000 handshake I did. He said, but if you know anything about me, if I shook anybody's hand for $60,000, that ought to show you how much money I made off of it. In other words, if I put 60000 in anything, it's an investment of me getting back more than what I put in. I bet you that. Telling you what he said. This is what ARP saying. Go to, his, go to the Red Breed thing. You will see it. He said, so you're trying to talk about us. He said, but what you need to do is stop trying to beg all these other platforms to help you out. Then he going to, you know, he going to his bag. And you know, the thing about ARP is, I'm going to keep it real. He's sort of like, if he get on some stuff like this, he like a dangerous blogger. Because he bring up, he, hey, he do that information. He go back in time, bring up the clips, edit it, play the video, show everything you do. And that's exactly what he did in this video against Piper Boy and D-Boy. I said D-Boy, thinking about my one guy, Debo. Um. Then he play a clip of Debo, literally. Look, no exaggeration, y'all. He play a clip he found a Debo on an angry fan show crying to Beasley, begging Beasley to do an event with him, crying in tears so that Beasley could feel sorry for him to do an event with him. Literally crying, tears, real tears. And he played. Then he goes on to say, 
Uh, he said, I ignored you for years. I ignored you for years. He said, but now I think I'm going to give you what you've been asking for. He said, I don't mess with you because I think you are effing clown and you full of jealousy and childish ways. Yeah, he wigged on him for that little moment he was on. And he let him know. Like you move corny. And you do a lot of talking behind pe behind people's backs. Behind uh, 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 in public. But behind closed doors. You be kissing people butt. That's the same thing I called you out on. And I'm going to keep it real. That's the same thing Chris Unbiased was calling you on, Debo, man. You got a bad reputation of that, brother. It's like you got the right name. You picked the right name for yourself, Debo. Not because you a bully, but Debo was like a snake, a rat, who was always trying to get over on people, always trying to, you couldn't trust him, you couldn't trust him, he couldn't be trusted for nothing, you can't trust him. One minute he's saying this and then he doing that, he, he playing both sides, just trying to do anything uh, 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 that he can benefit off of. And it's like... When you hear all the people that come out on you and you hear about all the things people saying about you, it's like you fit that. You fit that very description. When you got all these female battle rappers coming out on you, then we seeing how they saying how you playing both sides. We just saw that in a Miss Hustle and Twerk battle. We just saw Mythic, Misfit call you out on that at the Farrah Funeral battle. It's like you do play both sides. Behind closed doors, you act this way. Then publicly, you say that. We saw you do that with the bloggers. Or you try to do that. Me, all battle troop, a good blogger, this and that. Then you on Twitter trying to say stupid thing. Then you get on Champion Show. Oh, Jay Black, you this. You that I'm talking about that's what you do dog that's what you do that's what you do and it's fake you know what I'm saying I remember all the time you told me when I did speak to you saying things like yeah battle truth man don't stop what you're doing but you know what I'm about you know I be on champion heels when they do something stupid you know I be on the URL heels when they do something stupid I basically on everybody heels when they do something stupid but for the most part it's those two entities almost almost well it, it's the URL more than anything but when it comes to the blogging thing thing it depends on what's going on that I called them out on but I call Jay Black on a lot of things because I know he worked for the URL and a lot of things he sweep under the rug and they push through that channel now you know i'm about that so you tell me oh yeah yeah man don't stop what you're doing man keep keep what you're doing keep what you're doing don't let these dudes stop you from doing nothing you a real one this and that but you know what i be talking about then you get on the champion show oh i don't listen to nobody man you the only one i like like come on fam like this is the stuff that you do same thing with ARP. You trying to talk about this man in public like we heard you doing, knocking this man. But then ARP like, but wait, ain't you the same dude who was trying to do business with Red Breed Entertainment? Ain't you the same person who was trying to do business with Red Breed Entertainment? Now you're trying to disrespect us. So I feel where ARP coming from, man. And Debo, you got to, you got to be better than that, fam. You, I, I, I don't get you, fam. I don't get you. You have a bad reputation out here being a snake and a brother who try to get over on everybody, man. That's not the the, the character you want to have when you deal in business. You do not want to have that character. Allegedly, all these people coming out on you, allegedly coming out on you about all these things you're doing, all these scandals and misrepresentation and bad business and all these things like that. Man, you got to get better than that, bro. You be out of pocket. But it is what it is. This your boy, Battle Truth. It ain't my judgment that's in question. It's yours. Subscribe to Battle Truth, man. Click the link in the description box. Follow me on Instagram Live. Uh, follow me on Instagram Live. I'm going to follow you back. Um, click the link in the description box. Donate if you able to my PayPal or Cash app. If very needed. And very appreciated. I thank everybody for their charity. Uh, those who support what I do, man. Support your boy, man. Um, and subscribe to the channel. It ain't my judgment. That's a question. It's yours. Only if you able.